Hey guys, it's Chris from Survive and Thrive. Um, today I'm just hiking around um, and decided to start doing my navigation series. Uh, I just did solar navigation like 20 feet that way. So started walking down this game trail and noticed these trees right here and decided it would be a perfect opportunity to show you guys vegetation growth and how to navigate with uh, vegetation growth. Okay guys, growth. so first off I'm going to crush a myth. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is, you always hear that thing, the moss only grows on the north side of the tree uh, for reasons X, Y, Z. Some of them make sense or they sound like they should make sense, but that's not always true. Um, I see a lot of trees around here where the moss is actually growing all the way around, full circle on the tree. Um, so that is not a good way to navigate uh, your north and your south from. Uh, in the northern hemisphere, as I explained in my solar uh, solar navigation the sun moves on a southern arc so what every tree and plant is trying to do in the wilderness is photosynthesize um, yeah I know there's probably a few plants out there that aren't trying to photosynthesize and someone will probably make a comment about it but for the most part most plants and trees are trying to photosynthesize so what they're gonna try to do is try to get as much of their vegetation towards the sun so if the sun's moving on a southern arc most of the vegetation on the trees or plants are going to grow on the southern side of the tree. Now, <clears throat> there are some exceptions. A tree could be grown with another tree in the way and it has to grow to the, the east or the west or something like that. So this is something you have to validate with a handful of trees or just check to get your, uh, your basic bearing. Um, this is something you can practice too if you've got a sunny day like I have today. You can validate uh, your southern arc or where your southern point is with the sun and then find trees that correlate with that or vice versa find trees that you think are pointing south and then use the sun or a compass or something to test your theory if you're new to it but these trees right here um, they're oaks all three of them the red oak uh, they're all a prime example I'll show you in a second of what I'm talking about where their vegetation is growing heavily on the south side that doesn't mean there's nothing on the northern side but their vegetation and branches will mostly grow towards the southern side. Okay guys, so I'm hope, I hope you can see what I'm seeing, but this tree right here in front of us, I'm gonna try to not shake this camera much, but if you notice, uh, most of the branches, if not all of them on this tree, are actually growing in that direction, which is south. The sun is right here blocked by a cloud right now. Um, it's a little, it's almost like 130, 135, so the southern point is about right here. So if you notice, most of the vegetation is growing in that direction. So then, as I said, we need to validate this. We have this oak right here on the uh, right side of it, which also validates it. If you notice, there is a lot of vegetation on this side. It also gets mixed in with this uh, beech tree. but. Uh, What's happening is you have little branches on this side and you got a lot of the bigger branches growing in the southern direction. Then if we go to the left side, this other red oak right here, same thing. This side of the tree is pretty bare um, and pointing in that direction you can see all the branches and growth coming off. Okay guys, so once again, just like solar uh, navigation, using the vegetation and stuff is a very basic way of finding navigation um, it can be helpful in any survival situation or anything like that as well um, it always helps though I'll probably say this in a few other navigation videos it helps to actually uh, use multiple forms of navigation when you're using uh, nature like this or like trees and the sun and all that fun stuff if you're using things like that it helps to use more than one so you can actually validate and make sure if you're getting multiple cues that this is south and more than likely that is south um, and vice versa for any other direction. okay guys so uh, thanks for watching my video if you have any questions about navigating using vegetation or anything like that um, please feel free to uh, message me email me uh, my email is in the description as always uh, you can leave comments I'll get back to you as soon as I can with those um, other than that thanks for checking out my channel thanks for watching my videos thanks for your support subscribing commenting liking all that fun stuff, and I hope to see you around.